in this video, this video I'm going to show you how to create, create this website, website. It's our uh, website, it's our mainly, website for mainly for social media, social media marketing, marketing agencies, agencies or something or similar to that. Something similar marketing to that. Marketing agencies. Marketing it's agencies. A very clean looking uh, website. It's a very, very clean looking website. It's very easy. And if you like look of it, and if you like look of it, exactly like it. I'm going to similar. Exactly like it. Show you how it's similar. Set everything up from hosting. I'm going to show you how to set everything up from hosting and how to customize the website. So if you like look. Keep on watching everything. Okay, so you need two things enabled to create this website. The first thing is hosting. For this, I recommend Hostinger. The link will be down in the description. And I recommend them because they are very cheap and reliable. Here you can see their cheapest plan. It costs one ninety nine per month. And this will be enough for most of you guys. It's for one website only. And But if you wish to create more than one website, the premium plan costs two two ninety nine per month. You can create up to 100 websites and you will also get a domain for free. And these two just makes your website faster. But you can always upgrade later. So I would probably go uh, with single plan for now and upgrade later if you need it. And the second thing you need is a theme called T7. It's a very cheap theme. It costs only 39 bucks. And it's actually a very good theme. It's the best selling theme for elementary building. And yeah, the theme is very fast. The load time is fast and a bunch more is included, for example, 60 pre-built websites. So if you wish to change how your website look later, you can easily do that. And it's very easy to customize with this theme. And the link will also be down in the description. Okay, pause the video and buy it and I will show you how to set it up. Okay, so once you've done that, you want the first thing you want to do is log into your hosting or account. And you want to click hosting up here. And you will come to this page and you want to click on add website. And you want to click start now, create a new website and select WordPress, the password and continue. Yeah, I skip and I will manage this later. And uh, I don't need a template. And here you select your name and a description or we can write this later. And uh, select your domain here and finish setup. And once it's done loading, go ahead and click on edit website right here. So now the last thing we want to do is hover here on appearance, click on themes. And you want to click add new up here and you want to click upload theme right here and I want to choose file and let's I'm gonna show you how to download it first so you go into theme forest account click on your account and click on downloads and the theme will show up here and you click here and download installable wordpress file only and you go ahead and uh, upload that file right here open install now and let it load now it's finished so you want to go ahead and activate it and now the only thing left is to Put your per case code here. You click on this arrow on ThemeForest again and you click on license and purchase code and you will get a file and you just paste that code right there. And after you've done that it should everything should be working and I will show you how to build a website. Okay one more thing it's the Elementor Pro plugin right here we need Pro Element so just click it. You should be on the 7 right here pre-made website scroll down a little bit and click on this Pro Elements plugin and click download. And now we need to go in here to WordPress again and we want to click on plugins right here, add new, upload plugin and you just want to upload the plugin we just downloaded and click install now and activate plugin and also install this right here. Activate plugin here too, exit this and now we should have everything we need to start building our website. Okay, so let's start building. The first thing we want to do is click here on the 7 and click on pre-made website right here. Now we want to search on company and it, it will show up here at the top and you want to import all the content. Okay, so once it's done loading, now we want to go into pages right there, hover on it and click on all pages. And here is where you customize. So this is all the pages that comes with the website and this is where you customize them. So this is the front page as you can see here and the home page. So when they go to the main, this is the page that will show up. And uh, yeah, let's start editing it. So click here, edit with Elementor. And here you can see the preview of the website. The reason the slides doesn't show up here on the front page now, it's because uh, you have to edit them. You can see they were here. So if you actually go back and go and visit your website now, they will show up. They are there, but you just can't see them there right now. So let's go back. And there is also a second home page if you rather want this one where everything shows up. In my opinion, this looks uh, even better to be honest. Yeah, so let's start by editing this. The first thing we wanna do is go in here to site settings 
and we want to go to site identity right here and this is where you change your company name and your description and here is where you change your logo so if you change this image just do that by clicking here and upload your own logo and the website recommend is being 350 by 100 pixels you can easily make it in canva or uh, photoshop and the site icon should be 512 by 512 and this is the site icon here for example if you want your logo up there as well and the us or publish to save it yes so let's go back so how you actually edit the website if you exit down this is really easy as you can see everything gets marked here so if you wish to change this text just drag over it like that and publish to save or click here save the draft if you don't want it to go live right away and if you want to change this image for example just go here remove it and let's upload another one let's upload the, this guy now now he's here so that's how you do that to edit buttons if you edit this for example when they click it they will come to this page and here is the button text you can change this to anything like now if they click the button they will come to google and uh, and remember to save and uh, you can also like remove entire section if you like if you don't want this client list right here just hover on it and uh, delete section now it's gone there's also if you want to add like a section to your page just add on here if you want a grid or flexbox take flexbox let's add this one and here we can add like elements so let's add a heading here let's make it center and uh, and you can add more widgets and you can also add widgets by clicking here add elements let's say we want an image here just drag it and drop it here and let's add this image select and save to save you can also change the size here if you want it smaller so that's how you do that as you can see it's pretty easy to edit everything and there's like literally hundreds of different elements you can add here I guess well most of them uh, I think you can understand what they mean like text button yeah and just drag and drop to add them and uh, the menu can be a bit tricky so I'm gonna show you how to edit that now and if we go back and leave this page also if you prefer this page over this one you can simply um, make quick action quick edit. and you make this home and update so if they go to the website now we should be coming to that one but we didn't we have to go into edit right here to do that page attribute okay i was wrong to make it your front page you want to go into appearance customize right there and now we want to click on home page set settings right here and you want to select uh, home too instead so now this is your front page instead and you can click publish to save and now if they go to your url they will come to this page but yeah let's go further in the text so let's edit the menus you do that by hover on appearance right here and click on menus and you select the different menus this is the footer menu the menu in the bottom of the page this is the main menu in the upper and you select it and here if for example don't want a theme page just simply click and remove if you want to change the title just drag it down and change and save menu right here now if we go to the website the title should be changed and it is so that's how you edit the website as you can see it's pretty pretty easy it takes some time getting into but after you have done it a few times you you know exactly what to do and if you need any help uh, you can leave a comment below and i will help you as soon as possible so thank you for watching good luck with your website and uh, goodbye